Thank you for coming to this uh, session. I hope you had an enjoyable VMworld party last night. And I know how difficult it might be to wake up the next day in the morning, especially if it's the last day of the conference. So thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate that. Uh, my name is Karol Boguniewicz. I'm a senior principal engineer from the VxRail technical marketing team at Dell EMC. And I wanted to talk with you about today about VMware validated designs and how you can leverage them to simplify and accelerate uh, SDDC deployment in your environment. If you have any questions, I'll stay for a couple of minutes after the presentation. So let's take them offline and without further ado, let's get started. So VMware sees three different paths for adopting the SDDC architecture. All those three paths are leveraging exactly the same ingredients in general, things like vSphere, vSAN, NSX, VLI Suite. However, they all are different when it comes to the level of automation and integration of the SDDC stack, level of standardization versus flexibility, and also time required to implement and also to get to the desired outcomes. So you can build your SDDC using validated components, and uh, this is the most flexible way. You just take the BOM, uh, bill of materials from VMware, integrate it on your own, but this requires really deep technical skills and might be very time consuming. The other option that we're going to talk about today are VMware validated designs, and it's really streamlined because you're using standardized architecture designs based on VMware best practices, and with that, you can really do that quicker, faster, thanks to the automation, and also you'll get benefits of the uh, operational guidance. The third option is really to buy a fully integrated uh, platform based on the VMware Cloud Foundation. Uh, and with that, you will get additional benefits, uh, automation of the lifecycle management, and also automation of the day two operations. So we may ask, okay, so what is VVD? And the way that VMware describes that is that it's a family of solutions for data center designs that provide blueprint for SDDC implementation. It's really comprehensive, a very prescriptive documentation. It's available as a free download from the VMware website. You can see a link on the slide. And it's so comprehensive that actually VMware created a special map that allows you to navigate through this documentation. You can see that on the right. So what it covers, well, it covers you know, the whole implementation process for SDDC, starting with planning, uh, designing, actual implementation, and also operational guidance, as well as different use cases and scenarios. It also covers various SDDC flavors. So you have a standard deployment, which is you know, typical for a production environment. You have a consolidated one, which is more for the test and dev deployment and maybe smaller deployment in general, and also Robo, which addresses the remote office and branch office scenario. Now, when it comes to the infrastructure, you have multiple choices here. Uh, there are several certified partner solutions. In general, you need to fulfill the HCL requirements and also minimum requirements for VVD. And one of these certified options um, is VVD on VxRail, which is actually a combination of VVD from VMware and VxRail from, from Dell EMC. And with that, you will get additional benefits in terms of accelerating the deployment, but also automating and simplifying the ongoing operations. We are certifying uh, VVD on VxRail since version 4.2. It's an ongoing effort and also tightly collaborating with VMware to make sure uh, that the Cloud Builder automation uh, is fully aware of the already built-in automation into the VxRail. So what you can see here uh, is the logical architecture of uh, VVD. You can see that it really consists of multiple software components. You have a core platform based of uh, vSphere, vCenter, vSAN, and NSX. Then you have additional operational tools and also cloud management layer, which is based on the Virilize uh, suite. And also you have the optional business continuity layer, uh, which is based on Site Recovery Manager and uh, vSphere application. And as you can imagine, this is really comprehensive compared you know, to the traditional uh, vSphere environment. There are a lot of moving parts. So um, what's, what's really nice is that VMware not only simplifies deployment and design of uh, such comprehensive solution with 
documentation, but also since version 5 provides an automated tool called Cloud Builder, which allows you to deploy this uh, full SDDC stack automatically. So what is VMware Cloud Builder? Uh, it's the additional tool which is available in VVD and uh, VMware Cloud Foundation. It's distributed as the virtual appliance and it can provide you with the uh, full automation of the SDDC stack deployment. It drastically reduces the time and effort required to deploy uh, the SDDC stack uh, because you can do that in a matter of hours. Uh, because of the automation, you will have much less error-prone deployment, so you can de-risk implementation of the whole SDDC. And with that, you can also, uh, it also simplifies the uh, VVD documentation. So in the past, we have, you know, deployment guides having hundreds of pages of manual steps. Right now, thanks to this automation effort, it's much simpler. Additional note here, um, just to make you easier for you to differentiate between VVD and VMware Cloud Foundation, uh, Cloud Builder does not automate the lifecycle management and does not automate NSXT and PKS deployment. So if you'd like to have those advanced features, you actually should better choose VMware Cloud Foundation and those things are handled by the SDDC manager. This is the high-level overview of the process of deploying of VVD. Uh, this is on the example of VxRail, but the generic deployment is very similar. Uh, I will not cover that in full details because um, we don't have time for this. Uh, but basically, you need to start with fulfilling some of the prerequisites. The most important one is to fill the configuration file with all of the deployment parameters, which is uh, in form of the Excel file. You need to create necessary accounts, etc. And when you complete those, you need to validate if uh, all of those are met. If all of those are met, then the next step is to deploy the management uh, cluster, the compute uh, cluster, and at the end you will validate uh, the deployment. And this process is highly automated. So this is great improvement since VVD version 5.0. In the past it was a very manual process, hundreds of pages of uh, deployment documentation. Right now we measured that on VxRail. Um, and if you fulfill all of the prerequisites, there are no issues, you can build the full SDDC stack in a matter of maybe about 10 hours. So great improvement here. It's also worth mentioning that VVD supports not only simple SDDC architectures, you know, based on a single site deployment, but you can really build much more sophisticated architectures. So um, you can have multiple regions for different reasons, for instance, uh, for disaster recovery between them. And uh, if you'd like to you know, achieve maximum availability in case of a full site failure, you can actually use the multiple availability zones deployment, which leverages uh, vSAN stretch clusters. And with that, you can you know, achieve maximum protection. Even more, you can combine those different options here, those different topologies we can see on this diagram is actually a combination of multi-AZ with stretch clusters, which is in one region with the disaster uh, recovery to the uh, second region. So for your reference, uh, I've included some information what's included in um, the latest VVD 5.1 release uh, from July this year. I won't go through all of these, there's no time for that, but probably the most important features is the upgraded bill of materials because you can always you know, leverage the latest features in the component products. Uh, integration of VMware Skyline uh, for the proactive support, uh, design and deployment guidance for VMware Enterprise PKS, and also migration of SRM deployment from the uh, Windows-based deployment to the appliance-based deployment. And I'd like to end this session by providing, you know, summary of the key benefits that you can get uh, from leveraging VVD. Uh, in general, with VVD, you can really eliminate guesswork and deploy and operate your uh, software-defined data center um, or hybrid cloud solution with confidence. Thanks to the full-stack validation and thanks to the automation of the cloud builder, um, you can really simplify and de-risk the deployment. In general, if you implement the SDDC architecture in your data center, you will 
get benefits from better speed and productivity of your IT staff. Uh, you have better hardware utilization and uh, better security. And uh, because Virai Suite, Virai Automation is a part of that, you can really create standardized service, uh, services catalog and automate, automate IT services delivery, which will provide with increased agility, uh, governance, and cost transparency if needed. Some additional resources uh, for your reference, if you'd like to learn more, uh, visit VMware website, uh, download the latest VVD documentation. Uh, we do also uh, of, provide two white papers. One is focused on VVD on VxRail specific, uh, specifically, the other one on the VMware Cloud Foundation on the VxRail. Uh, I think it's a good read, much easier than the typical technical documentation, so worth checking that. And um, if you'd like to learn more about VVD on VxRail, just Google VVD on VxRail and you will get access to the VxRail specific documentation. And with that, I wanted to thank you for your, your attention and have a great rest of the conference. Thank you.